It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement. When, what do you think happened? He began to feel funny. He couldn't steer properly, and his battery began to run out of power just by the rubbish dump. Brum began to feel even worse. Oh, dear Brum, what a place to break down. stopped for lunch. And then, what do you think happened? Two more men arrived. They were on the lookout for anything that might be worth money. They found Brum. I know a place where we can get a good price for this bit of rubbish, said one. It's a useless car, said the other. But they took him just the same. And where do you think they went? They took him to the car breaker's yard. place for old cars that nobody wants anymore. while they went off to find the scrapyard owner. One by one, the old cars were lifted up by a big grabber. They were put into the crusher so their scrap metal could be used again and made into new things. It was a good thing Brum's battery was flat. He wasn't awake, so he didn't know what was happening. But who do you think came along just in time? It was the kind man from the museum. Stop! He shouted. Brum was saved. The museum man had come to the yard to look for spare bits of old cars. The last thing he expected to find was Brum. Look at you, he said. You're so dirty. However did you get here? Is there something wrong? Uh-oh, flat battery. And off he went to find Brum a new battery. The yard owner was busy counting his money 
when the two men who'd found Brom in the rubbish dump came along. What will you give us for the little car? They said. There, that should do you, Brom, said the man from the museum. Now, let me see about getting you away from this place. And suddenly, Brum woke up. Oh, my bonnet and bumper. Where am I? I don't like this place. I want to go home. So when the men weren't looking his way, he went. I don't see any little car, said the yard owner. You're wasting my time. Uh-oh! Brum hadn't wasted any time. He soon found his way out and made his escape, brumming as fast as he could all the way home. Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when what do you think he noticed? Lots of photographs of a strange looking lady in a very funny hat. Children were being taken inside the theatre to hear the lady singing. Now, Brum didn't know what a theatre was, so he decided to go in too. But there was a big man there who said, No cars allowed in here. It's not fair, thought Brum. I want to see inside. But what do you think? Around the corner, at the back of the theatre, there was another way in. And the man guarding the door there wasn't on the lookout for little cars. Once inside the theatre, Brom followed the sound of the music, looking for the children.
they weren't very happy. Brum wasn't very happy either. It was getting dark where he was. And then, what do you think happened? Brum came out on stage! There's Brum! shouted the children. Singer was furious. You! She shouted and ran off the stage after Brum. Then, what do you think Brum saw? A pantomime horse who lived in the theatre. Please, please, show me the way out of here, cried Brum. The fierce lady singer's after me. Oh, no, said the horse. Oh, no, that's terrible. Go that way, said the back legs. No, that way, said the front legs. They haven't got time for you to make up your mind, said Brum. This is an emergency. Please let me through. And in his panic to run away, what do you think happened to Brum? His back number plate fell off. Oh, no! said the horse. Don't be frightened, little girl. Come back! But it was too late. The chase was on. The fierce lady singer gave up, exhausted. And Brom found somewhere to hide. <coughs> shouted the pantomime horse. There's no need to hide, little car. Come out, see what I've got. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, said Brom. I really was all wound up. You see? Nay. Nay. And then what do you think happened? The pantomime horse did a little dance to calm Brum down. Better. Nay! 
Did he step the horse? Goodbye, then. Goodbye, said Bram. And off he went. Brum, brum, brumming all the way home.